Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I've been doing a series of videos that are geared towards the Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber that have Photoshop included in their subscription, but never use Photoshop. They're intimidated by it. So they mainly just use Lightroom. Well, in this series of videos, I'm demonstrating some things that you could very easily do in Photoshop from Lightroom. And today, I'm going to demonstrate how you could blend two different images. And for this example, I have two images of this little room that is in a basilica near where I live. On this first image, I exposed for the room itself, but you could see the stained glass windows are blown out. On the next image, I exposed for the stained glass windows, but as you could see, the room is fairly dark. What I want to do is just blend these images together so that I have a third image that has properly exposed windows and a properly exposed room. And it's super easy to do in Photoshop. Now I'm in Lightroom now, as I would assume most of you would be starting out in Lightroom. And for these two images, I didn't do any adjustments at all. You can see no adjustments were done at all. I'm going to do the blend first and then I'll do some adjustments later. So to get them into Photoshop and to blend them, what we need to do is select both of them in the film strip. Click on one and hold the command or control key and click on the second one. So they're both selected. Now right click on either of them down here in the film strip. Go up to edit in, then go all the way down to the bottom. You could see it says open as layers in Photoshop. So we want to do that. Now what will happen is Lightroom will take these two images and it will open them up as layers, one on top of the other, inside of Photoshop, and it will take a second to do. So let them do it, and then you'll see that we have now two images on Photoshop. Now it doesn't matter which is on top and which is on the bottom. Uh, by default, what it did for me is it put the darker image on top. That's okay. Now what you need to do is select both of them over here in the Layers panel. So just click on one, hold in the Command key, and, and click on the other. That's Command if you have a Mac, Control if you have a PC. So we have both of the layers selected. Now simply go up to Edit, and then down to Auto Blend Layers. And when you do that, you'll get this. What you want to do is Stack Images. Make sure that's checked. You want Seamless Tones and Colors. and you could check content aware fill transparent areas. What is going to happen is if the images don't line up quite perfectly, it will auto align them. And sometimes when it auto aligns it, you'll have some blank pixels around the edges. And if you use content aware fill transparent areas, if you have that checked, it will fill in those areas and try to guess what should be there. And it usually does a pretty good job. Now, um, for these specific images, I did not use a tripod. I actually was standing in the doorway of the room. I did lean up against the door so that I could stay as still as possible. So they aren't uh, taken with a tripod. So I definitely want to click that bottom uh, checkbox. And we'll click OK. And it will do the blend. And there it is. And now we have properly exposed windows and a properly exposed room. And if you look over at the layers panel, you'll see we have a new layer on top and it's called the merged layer. So it merged those two lower layers together and gave us this merged layer. And again, no adjustments were done on it at all. Now you could do some adjustments in Photoshop if you are familiar with how to do adjustments in Photoshop. But since this series is geared for the Lightroom user that doesn't really use Photoshop, Let's go back to Lightroom and do these adjustments. So what we need to do is save this. Go up to File and just Save. And it's going to take, you can see up here it says 55% and so on. You won't be able to close Photoshop until it's done saving. So let it do its saving. You can see there's a progress bar in the lower left hand corner as well. Usually that last percent takes a long time for some reason. So just let it do its thing. And then once it's totally saved, we're just going to close down Photoshop. It is now. So we'll close down Photoshop. And when we get back into Lightroom, you'll see that image is here in the film strip. It's right in the middle. There's our dark image. There's our image with the properly exposed room. 
and there is our merged image. Now from here, we could do uh, some adjustments, like I could maybe add some dehaze in there. It looks a little hazy, doesn't it? Bring the highlights in, open up the shadows a little more. So you just do your normal uh, adjusting. I won't bore you with adjusting this image, uh, but you can see that it did a nice job. Even the reflection of the windows on the floor looks properly exposed now. So that's something you could do very easily in Photoshop. Uh, just merge a couple layers. So if you're ever encountering a scene with a lot of dynamic range and you don't want to do an HDR because sometimes HDRs look kind of funky, what you could do is take one image with your camera that is exposed for the highlights and another one that is exposed for the shadows like I did and then take those two images into Photoshop, merge them together, and then come back into Lightroom and process like you normally would. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>